So we got day 15 up on the block with the uh, Ninja War Stolen Scrolls. It's uh, basically a Castle Crashers clone. Uh, I'm going to continue my game, but you can have, to have up to three simultaneous uh, saves on here. It's up to four players, uh, same system, co-op play. The thing I don't like about it is, where's the Xbox Live play? A game like this screams Xbox Live play. You know, just like Castle Crashers is one of the best, you know, four-player beat-em-up games co-op on the arcade. You know, if this is going to be copying Castle Crashers, why it doesn't have online play? It would have been awesome if it had online play because this is a great game, you know, it's a great alternative to Castle Crashers and at a fraction of the price of Castle Crashers too, so I don't see why, um, you know, they wouldn't add in online play to, you know, basically directly compete with Castle Crashers and I think if they did that, you know, it could be even more played than Castle Crashers, you know, it is already one of the top downloaded in the indie games on the market. And um, as you can see, it's unlike Castle Crashers, you're mostly beating people up with your hands. You can pick up swords and stuff that they drop. It's the only certain times when this sword drops that you can pick it up. But as you can also see, after you use the sword a couple times, it makes you drop it. It's kind of like those uh, old school beam ups. You pick up like a bat and then after a few times it breaks. Uh, you can jump. Also, um, take a look at these uh, controls real quick. Jump is on the Y button. Why? Hello? Does um, that make sense to anyone? The Y, the jump should be on the A button. Come on now. Every single game, it's on the A button. And then, you know, we got these abilities also. You know, on the B button. Let me show you. Throw a little fireball. Let me back up so you can see it go. Yeah. You can jump and throw fireballs. Um, there's this other one if you're surrounded. There's this one where you can shoot it up at people. I'm out. So you gotta hold the right bumper to to power up your molten your magic power. As you can see the the bars in the top left of the screen, you know, the top red is your health, of course, the blue is the magic. Just like Castle Crashers, and then there's the XP. And then you gotta jump over some obstacles like that. The first time I encountered that, I tried to press the A button to jump, and I lost like 20 health points. But yeah, that's basically the game. It's really fun, and you know, it's really satisfying, you know, just destroying these people with your, with your bare hands. You know, and whenever you do pick up a sword or something, you, yeah, it's really rewarding that you get to destroy everyone with the sword. Uh, and um, also I like how when you get hit, you know, unlike Castle Crashers where usually when you get hit you're, you need to like bounce back and stuff. And you have to stop fighting for a second. This one, you're, you just keep going, you know, it doesn't interrupt your combos at all. You know, you lose like a couple health points, but for the most part, you don't like fly back or anything. And this particular level I'm on, it has four floors. Um, I'm gonna just, you know, fast forward to the last floor real quick to show you the, the final boss on the level. So, I'll see you in the future. Okay, welcome back from the future. Um, I also like how on when, you, when you're beating someone up, their little, uh, Info comes up on the top left of the screen next to yours, and you know, it shows their health points so you know when they're gonna die or how much longer you have to hit them until they die. Um, and I just got to the fifth floor, so I'm at the boss level right now. You know, you can tell it's the boss level by the no sound in the background. You think that you guys are the boss, but then the big guy comes, just like in Castle Crashers. I get rid of one of these guys. You know, just like Castle Crashers, they keep coming back. So 
let me fast forward to the end of the boss fight since you basically get the gist of this. Okay, so here I am. I'm about to beat him. He has a couple more hits left on him. One more. And there we go. Is there going to be a treasure chest just like on Castle Crashers? I guess me and that dude are friends now since I beat his boss. <laughs> That was an XP for beating it. Oh my gosh, what a tease. I'm one point away from leveling up. Come on. Let me go level up real quick. I like how um, when there's stuff that's dropped, you have to hit the, the attack button over it to be able to pick it up. I guess that works a lot better in the, the multiplayer when you got four players playing together. And I leveled up. Can I exit? I don't know. Hey, you can exit. There, I leveled up. It saved my leveling up. And that's it for today. Um, I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. It's a, it's a really fun game. It's awesome. Uh, but where's the multiplayer? Come on. If they had a multiplayer, that would be a 5 out of 5 game. This would be like, get this instead of Castle Crashers if it had multiplayer on it. Or, you know, also for those of you who don't really care about playing online and you want um, something that's a fraction of the price of Castle Crashers, check this one out too. But yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you later.